Hi, my name is Sir Thomason. I'm the photographer filmmaker behind the Warrior Collective. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on attacking on the retreat uh, from a kickboxing point of view. Um, Help me out today, as always, is Mike. Um, so we're going to do it on the pads today, but you could train it uh, in the Dutch kickboxing, uh, give and take on on gloves. Um, it's not really something I do on tie pads, so I'd, I'd kind of really work more on, on the gloves or focus pads. So if I'm facing my partner, if I'm left leg forward, so one of the things that um, people sometimes struggle with at first, you know, again, not the more experienced fighters out there, is when someone's putting the pressure on. Okay, so most people are better at going forward when they're hitting than they are moving back when they hit. Okay, so just a, a couple of things um, before we go into it. So when I, when I step forward, um, I'm gonna step my front foot first and my back foot follows. When I step back, my back foot moves, my front foot follows. And um, that's really very straightforward. You know, that's gonna be most combat sports. If I was to cover a bigger distance, then I would shuffle step and a shuffle step. So you tend to see a shuffle step in boxing um, and in kickboxing. Um, not as much in, in, in Muay Thai, but you know, you, you, do, you, will, you are going to see it at some point. But today I'm going to be concentrating on, on this small stepping. Now what's important here when you're doing the small stepping is that you maintain your stance and you maintain your guard. Okay? Um, if you're not used to going backwards, typically what happens is your back foot's going to move two inches and your front foot's going to move four. Or the reverse, you'll end up in a, in a, in a wider stance. Okay, so we, we're going to be countering primarily with the hands. So we want to keep, want to keep a, a, a good, a good stance uh, for, for using our hands to counter off. Okay, so, so the first drill we're going to do is I'm going to start off with my jab cross. So I'm here. So I'm from a left jab, right cross. As soon as I throw this right cross, my partner's going to step at me, and I'm going to step back in my box step. As soon as I've landed back, I'm just firing the same two punches again. Okay, so it's really quite straightforward, but again, it's getting used to coming forward and then stepping back. Notice when I step back, I'm not stepping forward again. Okay, so I'm stepping forward in my initial attack here. One, two, and as I step, I'm just throwing those, those two punches. Okay, I'll show you from the, the other angle. Okay, so again, I'm here, so I come forward, jab cross, and then step back and jab cross. Okay, just one more. And again, jab cross, step back, jab cross. Okay, switching back. So, there's another way that we can do that, again, uh, especially from in Dutch kickboxing, um, where we switch stance. Okay, so I'll start in an orthodox stance, so I attack with my jab cross, one, two. Now as I retreat, as he comes forward, I don't step my, my back leg back, I'm gonna step my front leg back and go into the stance here, yeah? So if, I was, if I'm going to fire the jab cross as my counter, then typically I'm going to fire a, a double jab to begin with. Okay, so I'm going to change the starting sequence a little bit. So I'm going to throw my double jab, so I'm going to go one, two, and then as he steps, I'm going to step my left leg back to become southpaw. As I land, I throw my right jab, left cross, and come back. So again, I go double jab, step that leg back, right jab, left cross. And again, one more time, jab, jab, step back, jab, cross. Maybe we switch it. So again, I'm firing my double jab. So I'm here, double jab, step, my left leg back, right straight, left cross. And again, double jab, step back, right jab, left cross. One more time, double jab, step back, right jab, left cross. And switching it back over. So, I can step back in my box step, or I can do a full step back and change stance. Typically that's used a lot by kickers, but if you're confident with your hands in terms of small combinations or single shots, then the full step back can give you an alternate tool or angle. Okay, so the next one here. So if that's quite straightforward, staying high, here I'm going to imagine as I've hit my partner, He's put his head down as he comes in. So I go jab cross again, boom, boom. As he steps forward, I step back in my stance and I'm gonna go right uppercut, right cross, yeah? So again, 
he's put his head down and he's coming. And I've used that right uppercut to raise his head. I'm using my power hand as well. So again, one more time. So I've got jab, cross, step, right uppercut, right cross. One more time. And again, jab, cross, step, right, right. Now I can change stance for that as well. Uh, again, that, the change of the stance is only going to work if, you, if you're confident striking southpaw. Okay, it's not going to work if you're a little bit unsure of your left hand. But try it, train it. It's a good skill to have. So again, if I was to do the other way, I go jab, cross. As he steps forward, I step my left leg back. Then I'm going to go left uppercut, left cross. Yeah, and again. So I go jab, cross, step back, left uppercut, left cross. And again, one more time. Jab, cross, step back, left uppercut, left cross. I'm going to switch that over, so again, I'm here, so I go jab, cross, as he steps forward, I step back, left uppercut, left cross, and again, jab, cross, step back, left uppercut, left cross, one more time, jab, cross, step back, left uppercut, left cross, and switching it over, okay, so the next one, I'm going to work off the double jab, okay, I'm going to keep my hand high. Now you see this a lot in MMA with the smaller gloves where the hand fight with that lead hand. Uh, I mean you do see it in other striking out of but I think it's most prevalent in, in mixed martial arts with the smaller gloves like lead hand hand control. So I'm going to double jab. Now as he steps forward I'm staying in the same stance, I step back but I keep this hand high and then I whip a long left hook in and then a right cross. So I'm, I'm keeping this hand high. So again, I go double jab, step back, left hook, right cross. So I'm whipping my body, catching those two top knuckles, and my arm is past 90 degrees. I'm not doing a short hook with a pivot. I'm going long and using more my arm. And with that, I can change the angle if I need to as well. So again, go double jab, step back, left hook, right cross. And again, double jab, step back, left hook, right cross. Now again, if you was to come forward, a nice switch stance, it still works, okay? So again, move back a little bit. So I'm gonna go double jab, one, two. As he steps forward, I step my left leg back and I loop that right hook and then the left cross. This works really nice. Um, again, if you're confident with this, as they come barreling in, you can catch them here and see as they come forward, okay? So again, one more time. Double jab, step back, left hook, cross, that's it. And again, double jab, step back, right hook, left cross. And switching that over. So again, staying in the normal stance to begin with. So I go long, double jab, step back, left hook, right cross. And again, double jab, step back, left hook, right cross. If I switch stance, I'm gonna go double jab, step that left leg back, right hook, left cross. And again, Double jab, step that back, right hook, left cross. And switching it back over. Okay, last one I'm going to do is just simply the right straight, right counter. Um, sometimes walk away right hand, they call it. Step back, right straight, step back, right cross. Um, so it's just that, that right hand. So I'm going to do it off a double jab. So again, step in, double jab. As I step back, power that hand in. So as soon as I land that back, boom, I'm throwing that right straight. And again, so I'm here. Double jab, step back, right straight. And one more time. Double jab, step back, right straight. I'm going to switch that around. And again, I'm here. Double jab, step back, right straight. And again, double jab, step back, right straight. Now, just like before, I could step that leg all the way back and fire my, my cross off the back. Um, I wouldn't do it off a double jab though. I'd tend to try that from a jab cross. And also, that's when you can start switching uh, that punch in, so it comes almost like a, a switch jab anyway, but if I'm having to step right back, then obviously it becomes a rear straight. So again, if I go jab cross, as he steps forward, I step the leg back, left straight. And again, so jab cross, step back, left straight. And again, jab cross, step back, left straight. That's it, one more time from the side. So again, stepping that back, so I'm here, jab, cross, step back, left straight. And again, jab, cross, step back, left straight. Okay, so 
that's one step back, okay? So, but I don't want to keep going backwards, okay? I can't keep retreating, back pedaling. So once I've taken one step back and hit, I've really got to either push him back and break his, uh, break his rhythm, break his momentum, or I've got to cut off and change the angle. Now depending how aggressive he's been and whether he's orthodox or southpaw will depend on which, which one I choose. So if I go over this now, so once I've stepped back, if I've broken his momentum with my shot, then, and he's not coming forward, and he's another orthodox fighter like me, then I'm gonna cut right. So I'm gonna step my right leg out and create this angle here. From there, my pad holder is gonna turn the pad like he's holding it on his chin, and I'm firing that right straight there. From that right straight, I've got a multitude of options, but for now, I'm just gonna come back with left hook, right cross, and then create a new line of attack. Yeah, so again, so, if I tack that onto, let's say, the, the hook cross, so I'll just put it on the back of the hook cross. So I'm gonna, just move back a little bit. So I'm gonna throw the double jab. So I go jab, jab, I step back, hook, cross. I've stopped his momentum, so straight away I step right and cut right, right cross, left hook, right cross, and then create a new line. Yeah? Obviously, you wanna get to the point where you're doing this nice and fast, okay? So again, so go double jab, step, cut, cross, cut, right, left, right, and then new line, yeah? Now obviously that's gonna change if you, uh, if you switch into southpaw, okay? So I'm just gonna go through the orthodox to begin with. Now, if he's not stopped, if he's still progressing forward, he's still being wild and high, then I'm really gonna wanna get out of the way on my strongest side. So being orthodox, my strongest get out is my left side step and redirection. So when I'm cutting right, I'm just stepping out and changing the angle. And it's not even 90 degrees, it's more like a 45 degree change. I'm countering with an opposing attacking angle there. Here with the left side step, I'm gonna be going for a much bigger movement. Yeah, I'm feeling danger, I'm gonna get out 90 degrees. So. My left leg, he's going to step outside his right foot, yeah, again, this is against orthodox fire, so my left leg is going to step outside his right foot, and then I'm going to spin off to 90 degrees or as much of an angle as I need to. From there, as soon as I hit here, I'm going to go back into straight, so I'm going to go jab, jab, cross, and create a new angle, yeah. Obviously, we can continue attacking, I can kick, I can knee, I can do whatever the, the, the sport allows and the, or the rules allow, but I'm talking about attacking on the retreat and, and then cutting off, yeah? I don't wanna keep backpedaling, I'll hit the ropes, I'll, I'll lose my balance at some point. So again, um, if I put this behind the uppercut cross now, so if I go jab cross, boom, boom, he steps forward, I go right uppercut, right cross. I can see he's continuing on, so I've come here, and then I go jab, jab, cross, and then I back out and create a new line. Okay, so one more time. So I go jab cross, he steps forward, I go right uppercut, right cross, off that line, jab, jab, cross, and then back. So if we quickly just switch that and do that the other side. So again, my partner's coming forward. So I'll start with the first one. So I've gone jab, jab, he comes in with a hook, hook cross, and then I've stopped him, so I V-step to my right, and then right cross, left hook, right cross. So I've cut the angle, I've broke his momentum, so I've changed the angle. So again, one more time. So I go jab, jab, he comes in, I hook, cross, then I step right, cross, hook, cross. If you feel he's keep coming forward, he's under pressure, I'll go back to the second one that we demonstrated. So I go jab, cross, comes in, I go uppercut, cross, I have that little step off as he pushes past, I can use my left hand to help push it past, and then jab, jab, cross, and then create a new angle. So again, I'm here, so I go jab, cross, he comes in, uppercut, cross, off, jab, jab, cross, and then back out. Again, at which point, I can add in my kicks, my knees, my sweeps, yeah, but really I'm just thinking about hitting him with my hands as I go back and I cut off that line. Now, if I do any where I switch, then it just alternates the other way. So for example, let's say for example, I do the double jab, boom, boom, he steps forward, I step back, and from a right hook, left cross. Now, if, I, if, if my partner was still orthodox, and I've now gone to southpaw, 
then I've got the option of, if I've stopped it, I can take a little left cut out, and then left cross, right hook, left cross, create a new angle. Or I can right side step, push off here, and then right jab, right jab, left cross, and then back out. And again, it depends how confident I am in my southpaw or my orthodox, depending on which I'm starting it. So again, I'm here. So I throw my jab cross, oh sorry, my double jab. Boom, boom, steps forward, I come back, right hook, left cross. If I've stopped his momentum, then I'm gonna take a left cut step, cut left, left cross, right hook, left cross, and then break down that line. If he's keep progressing forward and I wanna side step a little bit stronger, I take my right foot off that line, push him a right, then right jab, right jab, left cross. Okay, so it's, it's one of those things that you wanna get confident with, okay? Me, I'm, I'm really an aggressive person when I spar. I like to come forward, I'm not really keen on going backwards. Um, I'm not much of a counter fighter, you know, uh, I, like to, I like to be going forwards, yeah? But, there's gonna be times when the other person's either stronger or better at being aggressive than you, than you are, and it's, it's very, very useful to have this, these back steps and back strikes available to you. So when they're coming forward, you catch them on the way in, okay? Obviously we've got, if my partner's here and he steps forward, I can stop him with my kicks, uh, that's not really what the, the subject matter today. Really, we've been talking about the hands. But again, I could hand the, add the legs on at any point. If I went, let's say for example, into that long hook right cross, and I've broken his momentum, then I can add my kicks, or my kicks before I angle off. If he's continuing coming forward, then usually the best thing to do is to cut off. But if I do cut off the angle, and I, but then I can come back with my right leg, you know, as well as my, my left hand. So it's just adding more pieces into that jigsaw, yeah, putting it all together, okay? Well, again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it of use. Again, attacking on retreat, it's one of those things that feels great for some people and other people, it's, it just doesn't feel that great for. But have a practice, I uh, hope you find it useful. Um, and like with everything else, Check out the other instructors and videos on the Warrior Collective. There are some amazing instructors on there. Go and share them, like them, comment them, let me know what you think. I hope you find this one useful. Thank you for watching. Oosh.